So um, I'm in Launchpad again on my phone. Um, works in a very similar way on uh, an iPad and other tablets. I just want to show you a little bit more about what we can do with Launchpad today uh, using some of the other functions, particularly the uh, um, menu um, available at the bottom of the screen. On an iPad, uh, this appears on the right hand side of the screen and then um, with an edit option at the top of the screen. Uh, but I'm sure you'll find your way around. So what we're looking at here are a series of passes and filters and gates that allow you to alter sound. I'm just going to do some quick demonstrations here. So I'm just going to set um, beat going. Here it comes. And then I'm going to select the gate function. And watch what happens when I press different versions. I have to press and hold here. Timing is key to make these work well. Now get rid of the menu, press it again. Um, series of different um, sort of filters here, which again you press and hold, have a listen. And so you talk about ways of altering or transforming the sound. Again, um, you can use two at once. And you can really think about them transforming all of the sounds. And finally, in the middle. Yeah, it's a hard one to use. It like, sort of almost causes like a sort of drop. And um, uh, my timing there is absolutely appalling. But timing is the key here. Now, so I stop that. Next thing to do is to think about how can you um, create something that sounds like quite a well-organized sort of song. And then also, how can you record it? Well, recording is really easy. Click the dots at the top. Um, you can see up here, there are then other things you can do to mess with it. You can alter the tempo, you can alter the key of it as well, and you can also get into the edit menu. Start to get really complicated what you can do in here um, by pressing the settings. You can alter individual shots, so you can make a shot, um, uh, sorry, you can alter individual pads. So, so if you change it from a loop to a one shot like that and come out, that means that this original drum sound now only works when I press and hold. Watch. back into edit again. If I re-trigger, what that will do is um, it will play for four beats and then stop and you have to press it again to re-trigger it. Here it comes. Um, watch the delete button, that really does delete it and you lose the sound from the, um, from the Future Trap um, pad set. Um, you can also alter and replace the sound with one from another set and you can either search for the sounds um, by instrumental category or you can search by um, a sort of style category there and you can also put together by using the stars a series of favorite sounds that you like that you can pull back and, and put together and they're stored then in your favorites so that's something else that you can play around with i'm going to restore this original sound to a loop which is where it was before and so that's all of that finally come back up to the top right again and press record and this will record you a sequence um, and, and, and you can then um, save that and email it or drop it into the um, shared work channel as an mp3 file. So you won't be as a video, it'll just be as an audio file, but that's absolutely fine and um, that's, that's all we need. So I'm just going to have a little bit of a play around here and I'm going to see if I can put together some sounds that actually work musically with a sort of start, 
uh, a main section, perhaps some sort of middle to contrast, back to main section, then an ending. Let's see what happens. I'm going to try and do all of that in the space of a minute. There we go. I'm pretty shocking at it, um, I realise. Um, I haven't got a great feel for it. It requires a load more skill than you might imagine. Now, following my two introductory goes at uh, getting this going, we're going to hear next week from Joe, our drum teacher, who's a real expert with this, and he's going to try and improve the quality of what we produce. So, um, I press stop there. Um, I go into the recordings, um, tap back on recordings here, and you can see... Um, it, it, it's it's that one at the top there it's a 1949 which is when i've just done it, it last for a minute 52 i'd had a couple of plays around earlier during the day um so there we go um have fun with it try and be a bit more creative with it rather than just play actually plan and think about what you might do and let's see how we get on and i'm looking forward to you sharing the work in our uh, shared work channel thank you